Howdy everybody, this is Bake with IronThroneCraft.com. Today we're going to go through some rallies in Blood Moon on some big beast traps. And we're going to show some adjustments that we made. We're going to talk about how to set up for defense, because a lot of these folks are set up extremely well for defense. I'm going to point out what was done right, what was done wrong, and then we're going to show how we adjusted in order to uh, crack into these traps. And the bottom line is what we're going to show in this video. Troop defense is really good now. Um... Coincidentally, I think it always has been. See that? Zero kills on Sexy Danny. I sped this up because Danny capped us several times. Uh, so what we were doing is we were adjusting over and over and over again to try to get through that troop defense. Now, what we've been seeing is that massive troop counts and massive troop defense are doing extremely well for castle defense. So what I'm doing now is I'm going through my heroes and I'm going to try to maximize my troop defense debuff. The reason for that is because troop defense seems to be crushing us. Sexy Danny, usually good for a couple hits. This time, not so much. He capped us several times here. And so, as you see, what I'm doing now is I'm going through and I'm adding Radiant Lord Pendants because those have the highest troop defense debuff in the game for accessories. So what I was doing here is just fully trying to maximize my defense debuff. So if you're having a problem cracking into traps, number one, check their troop you know, pre-meet. Number two, it's going to be defense. So see we there? Danny caps us again, but that time we got kills. So first hit, we got zero kills. Second hit, we got six million kills. That tells me that we did get through his defense. If you get zero kills on a hit, that means that their troop defense is what is winning it for them. Troop defense is like a great big shield. I've talked about it in the past. It completely nullifies damage. Um, and so that's how you get to zero kills if you're trapping and they get zero kills on you, it means they didn't get through your troop defense. The best way to do that is to maximize your troop count, maximize your troop defense. So we adjust, clear the pre-meet, hit, and get a burn that time. And let's look at his stats. Scroll down, see how he had 947 defense left, 2264 HP left. That's a lot of HP. That's why we didn't get all the kills. That is what it is. So that's how we eventually cracked into Danny. He gapped us a lot of times. He did a lot of... Great takes. It was well played by him. And we got through his enough troop defense in order to reduce that shield enough to burn him. So now we're hitting this fella right here. And I'm going to show you what the difference is. This time we hit him. We burn him. Check the report. We killed 50 million. Scroll down. Look at his stats. See how he had 1,500 defense left and, and 1,000 HP left? He had 1,500 defense left. We shouldn't have burned him that good, right? Scroll down. Look at his troop count. He had quote unquote air quotes right there, 1.7 billion troops on the bottom tier. I don't know how many Danny had because I'm a dumb dumb and I didn't look at the report, but I can tell you it was a lot more than 1.7 billion troops. This guy, we hit real hard, and I want to show you we nearly got his infantry stats zeroed. He was an infantry troop, infantry trap. Scroll down, look at his bottom tier, see how he has a mixture of infantry and cav on the bottom. It looked like he was going for a pre-meet setup, but that's not how you pre-meet. Put the cav in front of the infantry. So now this guy right here, Zordis. We only kill 100k troops on him, so that means we got pre-meted. We're going to fill. I'm going to slow down in just a second, I promise. We're going to go through this step by step and show what's going on here. So the first hit, we hit him, we only kill 100k. Second hit, we hit him, we only kill 300k. That tells me we're getting pre-meted. That's what I'm going to go say in AC, and uh, I'm going to say, hey, we're getting pre-meted right now. So what we're doing now is we're adjusting our fillers, we're adjusting gear, we're changing it up to try to crack into this trap here. And that's what's happening. So I'm filling with 900k troops every time in order to make sure we get all the debuffs and everything else like that. Make sure we get full fillers. Cap us again. We kill zero. See zero kills? What does that tell us? We talked about that a minute ago. It means that his defense is extremely high. It means that his troop count is extremely high. So even though this guy is a quote-unquote smaller player, I think he's like 300 billion, something like that, tells me he's got really, really good gear. So we check, somebody got a scout magic off on him. Look at his troop count, 5.36 5.36 billion T5 infantry. His defense is also incredibly high. So that's what I was talking about between the traps here. He's got high defense, he's got H high HP, he's got high stats. So he's got good aspirant gear is what, what that's telling me. Um, he's got 7,000 defense and he's got 5.5 billion T5 infantry. So... That's the way that these single type traps are doing extremely well right now is very, very high defense, very, very high troop count. That's what the difference is between this guy that we're hitting right here and the previous one was the troop count. Now, 
when I say high troop count, what I mean is like this guy has 5.5 billion. That's a lot of troops. However, there's a lot of resources and everything else that have come out lately, so it's a lot easier to get your troop count up there higher. So what I'm saying in AC now is we need the Aspirant Willful Head uh, debuff set up, and that's going to increase defense debuff even more. Level 60 gear, the head and the chest have incredible debuffs on them for both HP and defense. So see his, this hit right here? This time we kill 20 million, we get the burn. See that we got his defense down to 991. So with 991 defense, we got 20 million kills. He has 1700 HP. Scroll down, look at the bottom. We'd sent a solo to clear the pre-meet. And, you know, he's got big stats. We've already been over that. We know that he's got big stats. So this is what we're doing here in order to crack into this uh, specific trap right here. Is we are increasing our defense debuff because of that incredibly high troop count. So now we tell all the fillers to switch over, maximize defense debuff. See my setup here? I've got Radiant Lord, I've got Willful and Aspirant Head or Chest on everything. I know that gear is not always available to everybody, but this still works for smaller players, everything else like that. Aspirant and Willful, like level one, has more debuffs than most of the other gear in the game. So if you have even level one gear, you need to check that. With your filling, you want to make sure that you're maximizing defense debuff. It's not all about HP debuff like we used to always say. If you are on defense, higher troop count, higher troop defense, and you will do a lot better, especially if you have pre -meet. So this time, we've uh, maximized our debuffs here as much as we can. We hit. Let's go check the report. See that we killed 75 mil. So we finally cracked it. We finally got in there. Scroll down and look why. 0% defense left. We got the defense all the way zeroed. So that's what the massive defense defense. I'm sorry, the massive difference is, I've said defense so many times, it's getting stuck in my head. The massive difference here is that we finally got the defense zeroed. Prior to getting defense down below like a thousand with that troop count, we couldn't even touch this guy. And that's what we're finding out now, is that as troop counts are getting higher, as there's a lot of resource packs that come out, as there's a lot of speeds a couple weeks ago, a lot of people got a lot of speeds and a lot of resources, that's what's going on. So our, troop, our kills dropped a little bit, and the reason our kills dropped is because now he has 194 defense. So if you look at the difference between those two reports, we got 75 million kills when his defense was zeroed. We got 57 million kills when he only had 194% defense left. So that tiny little bit of 194% defense dropped our kills by 20 million. Here is where I fill a rally late because I wasn't paying attention and I only get one troop in. So I go through my army and I select my very, very best single strat archer troop and I send it to fill the rally mainly so that we can get my gear into it and so that I can see the report once we get the hit and uh, see what the difference is in our gear adjustment. So hit him again, check the report. Only 18 million kills. Scroll down. His stuff went up a whole lot. We've got a lot more defense. He's got uh, about the same HP. But you see how he has a lot more defense and we've only got 18 million kills? We were close to getting capped right there. So that is what I'm getting at right now. That's why level 60 weapons are so powerful. And that's why troop count is so powerful. So here is uh, another hit on a guy right here <laughs> that uh, you see me filling right here. This is a, a GOD member, and he's a lot bigger than Zorgis was. But as you'll see, troop count, troop defense, it's huge. So this is me typing in AC chat right here, and I'm saying we fill with Rad first, Aspirant Willful Head Chest, Crim Archer Weapons, and then uh, Radiant Accessories. And that's what we're going for. And not Dad Accessories, we want Rad Accessories. That's going to fully, fully maximize our defense debuff, and it's going to help us get through the people that have a whole crap load of troops on their bottom tier. See the hit right here? We kill 64 million. Um, I say pop. And this is just us using this defense debuff setup now to kill people that have a lot higher troop counts. See, he's got 853 defense, and he's got some 1,200% uh, HP left. Scroll down to his troop counts, and we see that even though... He's got 4.4 billion T4 infantry. Getting down under 1,000% defense allowed us to get the burn on him. So, what this video is about is, number one, know what you're looking at when you look at reports. Even if they're great defeats, as you saw in the beginning, whenever Danny was capping us over and over again, and whenever this other trap was capping us over and over again, if you get any kind of report, even if it's a great defeat, you see zero kills, that means you're not getting through their defense. That means they have a lot of troops on the bottom tier, and it means you're not getting through their defense. That's what zero kills mean. If you're defending and they get zero kills on you, it means good job. You built enough troops, you got enough defense. And so 
if you're filling rallies, even against smaller players, if they have big defense and big troop counts, you're going to need defense debuff. It's not all about HP debuff anymore. Hope this helps. Hope you enjoyed watching the rallies. Hope you had a good blood moon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like, subscribe, all that other YouTuber stuff.